Hello, this is Ben from Ben's Kitchen and Garden, and I am finishing off these fried cauliflower outside on this lovely summer day. So if you look here, these are cauliflower that have been battered first in a cornstarch slurry with flour, some seasonings, and then rolled in a breadcrumb. And if you look here, this is a pot of hot oil. Now I know that this is at about 360 or so, I just turned it off because it gets super loud. I'm about to turn it back on. But we've already fried beautiful oyster mushrooms from the farmer's market and some beautiful, big, crispy, fluffy interior potatoes. So I'm finishing up with the messiest thing, which is this battered cauliflower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this pot and it's gonna get a little bit noisy but then I'll show you at least the first batch here of how I do this. So this is like a classic propane gas burner. I'm going to turn on a little bit of gas here and then I'm gonna ignite it with this blowtorch. And now I know that it's already up to temperature. The one thing, whether it's inside or outside, you just have to be super careful setting the food into the hot oil. Always have everything ready as they always say, and then away we go. So. I got this here, cauliflower, and I'm just going to drop it in. I could use my hands probably, but I'll just use this here. I know this is already up to temperature, but you can temp it out and make sure it's at at least 350, and then they should be bubbling right away. That way they don't stick to the bottom. And you can see, that's kind of a classic move there, but to just swirl them around for a second, and then that also ensures that they don't stick to the bottom. So we'll let these go for as long as I can without getting them burnt because I know these are pretty big chunks of cauliflower and for them to get tender it's going to at least take probably somewhere in the range of five-ish minutes. Put in a few more, not trying to overload the pot. That's the other nice part about this outdoor setup is that these burners pump out a ton of heat really really quickly so you never really lose that heat like you do inside. And You can see this is already getting absolutely gorgeous and crispy. I don't typically bread things this heavily, but because I'm outside and I'm deep frying, I thought I should go for it. I'm gonna set this right over here. And then always have a landing spot, which I have right here. Now I'll just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so it's been about three minutes here and these are looking glorious. They're dark, golden, crispy brown. And what I'm really happy about is none of that batter fell off. Now, all I did was turn off the gas for the video, but it's already above 350. It's somewhere in the 360 range, it's totally fine. So that heat will stay as they finish up. But you can hear it. I mean, if, I don't know if you can, but I can hear it as I pick this up and it just sounds like crispy, crunchy, delicious. So I'm just gonna go right here, set them somewhere flat so they're not stacked up on each other. So then when they dry and cool, they don't get soggy. And those are ready to be salted and served with your favorite dipping sauce. These are beautiful, crunchy, crispy, battered cauliflower that are good any time of year, but particularly good in the summer when you can get outside and fry and not have your whole house smell like a deep fryer. So I'll post the recipe and all the details on what I did. You can see I got one more batch to go in here and then it's time to enjoy a whole bunch of fried food. All right, thanks for watching. For more cooking and gardening, check out benskitchenandgarden.com.